welcome to tuitionbooks.com so uh, i will provide the overview of the uh, overview of this uh, linux administration course actually it's a free course uh, with un uh, unlimited access so how you subscribe to the course and what all contents will be covered we are going to observe it in order to see the contents you have to click here on curriculum actually okay so in curriculum you can see all the you know all the you know topics being highlighted here okay so now in order to subscribe to this course you have to click here on take this course okay because uh, you know you have not logged in okay uh, if you already subscribe to other courses actually you need you can log in and you can take this course okay and if you are new to uh, you know our site and haven't yet uh, registered yet you can click here on register now okay you can provide your registration details okay and uh, it will uh, send you an email for the confirmation just you know confirm your email and uh, you know then your account will be created you can then log in actually okay so i have already logged in so uh, with my sample account i will log in here okay okay so once you have logged in right then you can uh, you know then you can take this uh, free course okay so uh, click here on the course you have already logged in right click here on start course okay so uh, you know so how you uh, you know you can access the contents here actually okay so the very first topic is uh, virtual box and linux installation right you can uh, you know so there's a uh, video here for good quality you can watch this video in 720p hd okay and you can uh, you know you can watch this video so what content will be covered actually so now i'm going to focus on that okay so very first thing which we are going to cover is how you uh, you know download the media actually okay so uh, the uh, you know the course is uh, all about how you uh, you know install configure linux on oracle virtual box how you set the network how you configure linux actually okay and then you install oracle database 12c on top of it okay so uh, and on top of that you know there are a lot of tools actually which will be covered okay so how you download the media okay like oracle virtual box and uh, database 12c as well as oel uh, oracle enterprise linux 7.2 right so these media as you have to download actually okay so i have given the clear instruction how you can download how you install the virtual box and enterprise uh, linux 7.2 on the oracle virtual box and then putty uh, concept or putty tool has been explained it's a ssh client actually which is uh, greatly explained okay uh, how you use it okay and there's a broader meaning uh, you know uh, uh, of the putty actually okay along with the xming okay i will cover that so then uh, how you configure your linux without uh, see linux uh, need to be configured right uh, for all the oracle products okay so and moreover other than the oracle products also actually linux administration is crucial uh, you know uh, so uh, you know uh, in the in the second session actually we are going to configure uh, the linux wherein you know we will change the kernel level settings okay we'll publish these changes we'll set the limits okay uh, we'll set the session uh, limits okay uh, we'll disable the SE linux we'll create users groups directory structures change permissions right and we'll set the bash profile uh, you know for the oracle user right and uh, then uh, you know we are going to apply a lot of patterns you know a lot of rpms actually because there are a lot of rpms required for the you know for the oracle products to be installed on the linux environment okay so this course will help you uh, greatly in understanding uh, you know uh, in understanding what all things need to be configured at the linux level okay the linux is easy actually once you uh, you know uh, you know uh, once you understand uh, you know the basic prerequisites which are required for any product to be installed okay so these are the prerequisites before you install any or oracle products okay uh, so rpms what all rpms are required there are some custom rpms which need to be downloaded explicitly okay and then need to be installed uh, i have covered that then how you disable firewall so that you don't face any port issues okay it's just for learning purposes actually okay and then uh, how you install the oracle database 12c within the you know within the uh, you know within the virtual box okay and uh, you know 
uh, then uh, you know uh, the installation of the database we are doing within the virtual box actually so we will log in and uh, we'll launch the run installer right uh, within the virtual box okay but in case if you have uh, you know so there's a one more topic actually called you know x11 forwarding okay so uh, x11 forwarding uh, you know uh, is uh, I will explain the you know uh, the concept here See, uh, you may have your Linux server, right, uh, where you need to install your database and all the products actually, okay, it could be business suite, it could be PeopleSoft, it could be any Oracle product or non Oracle product actually, okay. So this Linux server could be located, uh, you know, in, in, in any data center, right, okay. And uh, as a remote user, you need to do the installation of the database, you need to do, you know, uh, you need to do uh, installation of uh, you know SOA suit or IDM suit or uh, you know uh, or uh, OBI okay or uh, you know ODI or any Oracle product or non Oracle products actually okay so how you do the installation right uh, you know on a remote server which is located in some data center right so uh, that's where you know your X11 forwarding because you putty uh, you know is just a SSH client okay by which you can access the you know uh, the terminal of the Linux server remotely okay uh, so along with the putty actually you use the Xping and and X11 forwarding so that you can launch the graphical uh, you know uh, user interface you can launch the installer you know uh, within your uh, remote system actually which could be your laptop or workstation by which you connect to this uh, uh, server which is located in some remote data center okay so this concept concept is being highlighted here so i'll just give you a uh, you know a sample of it okay so you observe here that you know i have logged in in the putty and from putty itself i'm launching the graphical uh, you know I, i'm doing the uh, i launched the run ins uh, installer of the database okay so it's going to launch the you know uh, the gui application from the putty itself okay so this topic is covered here you know uh, uh, you know this topic is covered here in uh, you know x11 forwarding uh, what x11 forwarding is all about uh, what is xming how you use putty along with that and how you create the database and how you use the sql developer actually okay so point is uh, you know uh, so once you uh, subscribe to the course, right, it's a free course, then you can access all the, you know, uh, topic here. You can also download this running note, actually. So this running note is very handy, okay, wherein, uh, you know, how you understand how you do the X11 forwarding, right, how you create database and, uh, you know, and there are some basic Linux commands as well, actually, okay, uh, which is very handy for DBAs and IDM admins. It's mostly for the freshers, actually, okay, as well as th those who want to understand, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, having the intermediate skill and want to, you know, have a structured knowledge around the Linux administration, basic Linux administration, uh, you know, this session is for them, okay. So these some basic commands and, uh, you know, uh, uh, and syntaxes were explained here, right. The course uh, not only covers, uh, you know, uh, Linux installation, configuration, DB installation, uh, DB configuration or creation, right, and uh, with the uh, handy commands actually. Okay, it also cover, uh, you know, other than uh, these things, it also covers, you know, some basic tools and utilities, uh, which we need to, uh, you know, use as a, uh, as a DBAs, as well as IDM admins, like uh, WinSCP, uh, you know, like WinSCP, like uh, SQL developer, Putty, uh, like Xming, so that we can, uh, you know, launch the graphical consoles, right? And other than these things, right, uh, you can access, you know, uh, each content by directly uh, clicking on the topic, right? Okay. And uh, if you want to, you uh, th this is one way actually, okay, to uh, access the complete course. And uh, you can also click here on next unit, okay, to access the you know uh, each uh, each section, okay. So once you complete the course, you can uh, write a review for us, right? You can click here on review. You can uh, you know provide the title and you can provide your uh, you know uh, rating as well, okay. So with that, uh, I I conclude this overview of the Linux administration. Thank you.